Hello everybody, on the occasion of International Women's Day, Portridan is coming up with special podcasts of women entrepreneurs. One more story we have, interesting story I would say, uh, of Vasudha. Hi Vasudha, Hello. welcome to Portridan podcast. Uh, she has done um, architecture by profession, but she is working right now in uh, visual and aesthetic uh, designing, interior styling of resorts and uh, restaurants. So we would like to know Vasudha, what is your uh, educational background and how you have come to this line of work where you are um, actually working with lot of uh, creative fields at one time. Hello Arjuna, thank you for inviting me here on this occasion and to speak on this topic. Uh, it took me a little time to revisit my time of the journey I had to come to this point in my life. And uh, I am super enthusiastic about sharing the story here because I am sure that a uh, lot of people have gone through the same things and have this different opinion about it. Uh, I should also tell that uh, in this whole journey, it has been experienced from not only from the people, but from the different city, uh, cities I have stayed in. It has been a very, very, you know, I mean, uh, enthusiastic journey for me. But at the same time, it is very enterprising because I have met so many different people on the go, which have been working amazingly in their fields. So to come here with, I, I should just give a little brief about me. I'm an architect by profession. I hail from Jaipur, Rajasthan. And after working and studying in Jaipur, I uh, went to Ahmedabad and uh, worked there in Sangat under the able guidance of architect, Prisca Laureate, archi late architect B.B. Doshi. Okay. And uh, one simple thing while working there was, enjoy the life because life is beautiful that was his words and that was stuck with my work every time i take up a new project uh, after working in ahmedabad i eventually got a chance to work with his daughter uh, radhika katapalia who was doing a uh, set design and i just got a uh, you know brief idea about how it works as a set design and i suppose that was the turning point for me because after that, there was no looking back because I turned from Ahmedabad and reached to Bombay. And uh, from there onwards, I have been in Bombay and my line drastically changed from being an architect to an art director. But definitely with different uh, designation on the way. And uh, it has been a, a very, very learning journey for me from there because Bombay was entirely a new city for me. And... Uh, it was a very cosmo culture there. I was not knowing the language Marathi there. Yeah. And uh, uh, people were coming from all the stratas of life. And for me, uh, after Ahmedabad, that was the biggest step for me coming out of my shell. Because being in a design field, which is a very professional in a way, uh, film lines were entirely different. The timeline, the kind of work, I was so naive to it that I was not... I can't explain how I actually entered into it. But then uh, the one good thing I really liked about the film industry was they accept people from anywhere, any uh, strata, being a transgender, being anything. Film industry accepts the pe person as they are. And plus being a, a very cosmo culture, they uh, give a warm welcome to everyone. Though it takes a lot of time to get to a position where you need to, but they are very helpful people. So uh, my journey over there in Mumbai started and I started working assisting people and uh, from assisting to art directors to set designers, I eventually came into a line where after a decade of experience, I became an art director. And uh, I later on started my own uh, company called Earthworks in 2015. Earthworks has been a very creative impulse of uh, me because uh, um, I wanted to have a, I had a very basic philosophy with me to make everything beautiful around me. And with that philosophy, Earthworks stood by it, making, uh, making it enterprising in the journey of interior styling. So we do interior styling for resorts and residences and restaurants. Uh, we do undertake pro projects for art direction into in, uh, in audio visual media, which is ads, films, photo shoots, print shoots. 
we also have started recently a um, table styling workshop so we feel that every place even a small detail is very very important and these details count when you see the whole whole entire picture of a space or even for a table or anything for that matter so i feel that has been a roller coaster ride for me and uh, that's how my whole journey went <laughs> so um considering your journey so far on a different platforms and different fields um who do you feel like um, some inspirational woman uh, in this field or even personally you know ajna i came from a very big family where i have a huge lot of females in my house and uh, everybody from my grandmother was so inspiring in their own ways because my grandmother was always with a uh, propaganda to promote girl education and definitely uh, sending girls outside to study and work we have a very cosmo family and uh, to accept people from different stratas from different fields as well as not only that from different religion was there in our house and uh, my aunts and my mother everybody has been into a journey where you know i mean they have influenced me in some way or the other like i have uh, i have my sisters who are working f- in entirely different fields okay all of them are working in different fields i am the only one from the field of art but they have inspired me not only because uh, i am into art and they can't help me it has so many different influences due to how to uh, value the other person how you should uh, you know take your uh, project yourself out there are so many small things which influence you and it helps you to grow in your your own manner so yes um, the from this whole journey where i have been surrounded with women there was one thing and my mother was very very supportive and obviously a very strong pillar to influence me because in my design journey especially because uh, i think so she was the only one who had a flair of art and decor and that's how i got influenced to be into this line uh i should not only say it is my mother but my father also equally uh important in this role because they always told me that howsoever the failures comes to you you have to get up and move on you just can't stay at one place and just be with it that we can't do anything so that that was the uh, way i was been and brought up and um, later on in life wherever i stepped wherever the city whichever city i went to i always had uh, female bosses <laughs> so if you say that i i uh, stepped into a field of architecture i owe it to my mother as well as my aunt who actually told me there is there is a field of architecture and design so yes that influenced me because she was the principal of a school and she told me that and obviously educated me towards it when i went to amdabad i was introduced to set design by radhika katapalya so again that influenced me how she was perceiving the whole space how the temporary structures needs to be built and everything eventually my first project again there was a female boss and uh, the best part of after the whole project happened because that was a new project for me i was not knowing anything about it the last line of that uh, uh, lady was that i am amazed to see that you have grown so much and whenever i see you i feel i'm standing in front of a mirror so that these words really helped me to grow to analyze myself and uh, takes right steps towards my goals so, motivational to grow yes, more absolutely so yes um, eventually i had a lot of bosses in bombay also which were females <laughs> and i had a very enterprising journey around women i guess <laughs> but if you say uh, apart from my journey which i also keep looking and listening to people are um, there was a architect zaha hadid whom for my design concerns i keep seeing his her work then i keep listening to the murti for sure because i suppose with every journey you have to be humble and the life is very simple we make it complicated and she tells in a very simple words how to take it ahead so yeah i suppose these are the you know women in my life from my journey yes <laughs>
So in this field, what do you think that some of the biggest challenges what women are facing today? And uh, if you have gone through them, then probably um, how you can overcome them? So I feel that women are rising in every sector and the leadership qualities you can see in every uh, horizon right now with women. Uh, in my field, especially, uh, I should say that my field is very laborious in that way. There is no time foundation, which is also there with a lot many other fields. But uh, frankly, uh, working on site when you have nobody around of your own family and working there among a time when earlier there was hardly two or three women in my field and all you on, see on set are the men. Right. So that change is there definitely. You see a lot of women now on the set and around working towards it and they are very very uh, inspiring because they take an initiative to be a leader and work towards it uh, and obviously they they work uh, laboriously towards it they, it's because it's a very uh, hard working feel in that way the only thing which i also feel which is very similar to other sectors also at times is that there is a gender equality equation which is not happening too good in mm -hmm. our thing. So because uh, in our field, uh, there are situations when, uh, you know, I mean, there are situations when people are talking to you, thinking, uh, you know, you are the leader, but there are uh, your lower uh, level people who look upon to male perception more as compared to the female perception. And I think so that needs to change because, uh, and that is changing. I am not saying that's not changing. It is changing and there are a lot of women entrepreneurs and leaders in our field too. But uh, that thought about women leadership is not taken easily by the, by the society or the men we say in the field. And uh, there I feel that the change which is needed to overcome this is you have to accept you have to appreciate and you have to respect women. And if these three things happen, then it is very, very easy to, uh, you know, converse. It is very easy to understand the other person. And if, even if it is very easy to work with a woman leader for that matter. Because I feel as women, we are very, very sensitive also. We are very sensitive towards the society and how we talk. So we, our mode of talk keeps changing according to the person we have in front of us. And we are very sensible towards the situations which gets created in the whole thing and uh, we are considerate at the same time so i suppose at the same time the other person needs to be acceptable give respect and appreciate also right. women so that's one of the reasons which i feel is yeah. there so vasuda another thing is what is your definition of success uh, it could be personally or professionally in your uh, some projects particular projects where you are working so how you will define it uh, success is a very relative term according to me and uh, success for me personally comes to where we understand the other person, we grow with that other person or the surrounding and we accept the failures and move ahead in our life. And if you say professionally, I feel professionally is where you inspire others definitely and in that whole growth and inspiration you feel satisfied about what you are doing and be confident about what you are doing because the whole process about you working is your love towards your work so you have to be confident you have to be um, uh, you have to be confident you have to be um, you know you have to take it ahead and grow up from your failures and uh, support other person at the same time. So that's where you feel you have grown professionally. And I suppose that is success for me, where we appreciate others and grow together. Yeah. So Vasudha, you have worked on so many different projects so far. Uh, would you like to share any particular experience or a moment where it uh, kind of a tricky situation or you would like to share with us? I mean, uh, I have been working into different sections of my art design field. And I should say it's a journey of design for me. Mm -hmm. So my whole uh, experiences has been mostly based uh, in my design field and uh, working into uh, onto sites and uh, you know working with labor on sites, labor on sets, uh, create uh, making a team, building a team over there. 
so yes there are the different sections of my working experiences and uh, in this i suppose the difference or i should say the experiences came later on in my life when i actually started working because i couldn't see the disparity so much earlier uh, while before even i uh, started working i i should say that my parents have been always into the mode where they have been very humbly telling me that you know you have to grow and there's a equality in men and women definitely and uh, you have to come up and you have to uh, grow from your failures uh, keeping that in mind i suppose one of the instances uh, i suppose long time happened when i was in ahmedabad and working and that was the first time i was out of my house and uh, from the protective shell i should say and being into the journey of working and being on your own and uh, actually uh, facing the society and dealing with people you hardly know so i feel uh, that was one of the time when i feel the stark difference upon uh, how people perceive you and uh, even saying a small thing might have a different meaning altogether but you know i mean while working on uh, architectural design projects i suppose i uh, i felt one time that i was working on a certain project and i was doing all the designs and everything of that project and when the time came to meet the structural engineer of that particular project my uh, counterparts or my uh, senior members told me ki let the other person go instead of you just because maybe uh, they had some kind of a repo or something so that's where i felt it was not done you know i mean i have been working on that from a long time so i should get a equal opportunity to speak to them because i am going to learn from it too you know i am going to converse that person with that person i'll uh, understand what his questions are so that was the initial part of my working when i understand that you have to speak for yourself you have to be confident and you know speak out loud that i want this and that's where you know the course when i said this that i am not accepting this that i have not been sent there and you are sending the other person when i am doing that work is where the change came to my life and i started being bold i started asking things out and i started taking my stand for myself so yes those are small uh, things which come in different different projects in different ways where uh, you have to learn from it and grow out of it so a very small instances like this or i should say uh, another instances when i was working on a site uh, after Uh, a long time into for a film mm-hmm. and my uh, director uh, was very hyper because things were not going right and he started abusing on the set you know so you have to take a st- call and you have to take a stand that you just can't say things you know just you might not be meaning it might not be meaning to me but you are in front of 10 100 people right. you just can't talk like this so i suppose that was the times when we feel that you know you you have to accept it but you have to also outrage yourself towards these issues and make the other person realize that it's not acceptable right yeah so i suppose that is one of the few of the incidences i can share yeah so as we are celebrating international women's day in this field vasuda um people who are listening to us and who are students probably studying in architecture or in interior designing uh, what message would you like to give it to them so that they can learn from our mis- not i wouldn't say our mistakes but our experiences mm-hmm. where they will be jumping into this kind of field um see all women are having different experiences and uh, and striving through it and uh, learning from that experiences is one person who grows from it i feel the one thing or i should say uh, to the younger generation is first love what you are doing second respect what you are doing don't take it for granted third show empathy towards others and fourth give yourself that chance to grow up because uh, nobody will ask you to grow ahead you know you have to make your own mark in the society so you have to grow up keeping in mind who the other counterparts are 
and without disrespecting others, you have to grow. So I suppose these are few things which goes for any field and for all the people, all the girls out here who are listening to it. So grow and rock the world. And we both wish you all happy International Women's Day. Yes, happy International Women's Day. Thank you.